Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? I'm going to do a review and a comparison of the new one by Bath and Body Works Golden Berry Mistletoe. Yes, baby. I did get this in a mini in my most recent haul. If you haven't checked that out, stop, go back and look, check out that haul and the walkthrough. It was all the Christmas stuff. It was really cool. I'm super excited for the sale this coming Saturday, but we'll talk about that later, okay? Let's get back into this. Golden Berry Mistletoe has scent notes of sparkling berries, sugared spruce, and frosted air. Y'all, I like this. <laughs> I really do. I've heard a couple of other influencers out there say that they were not exactly, they didn't know what to think of it, they didn't care for it. Me, personally, I like it. I like it because it is different. We don't get scents like this a lot. I don't, I get a little bit of the berry, but not a lot. I definitely get that sparkling spruce, the frosted air, which is kind of like a crisp, clean note. But I really like it. And I'll tell you something. I have been wearing this. I wore this the other day when I first bought it. And I put it on after I got out of the shower at night. And honest to God, I loved it. And the scent lasted. I could only imagine what it would be like with the actual body cream. Yeah, I like this, yo. It's the spruce is there, but it's not so overwhelming like you're just wearing a Christmas wreath or something. You know what I mean? I like this a lot. Absolutely. But let's get into these review and, and the comparison part, right? The comparison, because that's what y'all come here for. I know it is. I know it is. Now, y'all, I did see an influencer out there compare this to replicas by the fireplace. I do have the dossier version, which is Woody Chestnut. This has scent notes of pink pepper, orange blossom, cloves, chestnut, gaic wood, cade wood, vanilla, peru, balsam, and cedar wood. Bye bye. No, 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 like, no, no. The. Goldenberry mistletoe definitely has the berry and the spruce and the air element. By the fireplace is smoky, like literally like smoky by the fireplace. There's wood notes in it. Very evident smoky wood notes. There ain't no wood in this, baby. No. No, and you also do get the clove, but you also get a sweetness in this from that orange blossom, which I think is beautiful. Yeah, I love replicas by the fireplace. However, it ain't no golden berry mistletoe. They are not even in the same ballpark, baby. No. No, no. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that one where it is. Now, I did hear, I want to say it was Leah Janae maybe mentioned that she thought it was reminiscent to Sleigh Ride and Snuggles. Yes, this came out, when was this, 2021. They never brought her back. I do have the body cream in this as well. First of all, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. absolutely freaking fracking lutely gorgeous. It has scent notes of snow-kissed icicles, fluffy balsam, and vanilla bourbon. Oh, I love this one. Yo, I love this one. I'm just going to spray it in there again. I I'm really sad that some of y'all never got your hands on this because she she banging. She good. She's different. She's not the same old basic bitch strolling down the Christmas Boulevard, okay? Oh, it's so freaking good. You really do get the vanilla in this. You do get a light, slight touch of bourbon, but it's not heavy. I mean, it is really light. You also get that fresh air component, but you do get the balsam as well. Now, in comparison to Goldenberry Mistletoe, no. They're similar. Like, I would say they're maybe second cousins, first cousins. 
but there is definitely a difference. The Sleigh Ride and Snuggles is much sweeter. It has that marshmallow that you definitely get. Um, well, they don't say marshmallow in the scent notes, though. Again, it's snow-kissed icicles, fluffy balsam, and vanilla bourbon. But that vanilla comes across as marshmallow in this. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a beautiful scent, but it's definitely sweeter than Goldenberry Mistletoe. Goldenberry Mistletoe definitely has a sharper balsam note in it, whereas the balsam is more subdued in here. You definitely can pick it up in Sleigh Rides and Snuggles, but you don't, it's not as sharp as it is in Goldenberry Mistletoe. Yeah, there is a definite difference in between these two. They're not even close. Like I said, there, there may be, at the very most, first cousins. Maybe. Maybe. They definitely ain't siblings. Absolutely not. No, no. You definitely, like I said, you get that vanilla, marshmallowy, as well as bourbon in here. And none of that is evident in Goldenberry Mistletoe. Now, what came to mind for me when I smelled this was a unicorn scent that I do have the body cream of. I was never able to get my hands on the actual body spray, but if I do, I will snatch it up. But I have not smelled this because I wanted to do it with you guys because this was the first thing that came to mind. This is called Shimmering Stars. Yes, Shimmering Stars. Have you seen her before? Because I guarantee a lot of you have not. It was a test scent that came out in a lot of stores here in Ohio. I shouldn't say a lot. Some stores here in Ohio. It was released in that same design like this, like Little Black Party Dress. I want to say that was 2000. Yes, 2019. It was 2019. Little Black Party Dress was with it. I want to say Champagne Toast was done in that same packaging. Uh, Twinkling Stars was in that same packaging. And then they had this one. But it, again, it was only in select as stores. I was lucky enough to actually get my hands on the body cream. I love this scent. Listen to the scent notes. Frozen citrus zest, creamy sandalwood, golden amber, and fresh balsam. Now, I don't pull this out, but on occasion, because I don't, I'm afraid to waste it. So I keep it in a controlled environment. It's still good. As you can see, it hasn't changed color. We are going to rub this in and do a little sniff test because I have thoughts. <laughs> mm. What I will say, that citrus note that's in Shimmering Stars is evident initially. It's like a citrusy sandalwood balsam but you also get some warmth from the amber here is my thought on this i believe goldenberry mistletoe is this scent without the orange they removed that fr that frozen citrus zest and added in like a berry or put a berry note in goldenberry mistletoe but other than that, they're like identical. Identical. If you remove that citrus note, which on, like I said, initially you do get that frozen citrus zest. But now as it's been on my hand for a minute, it's this, the citrus part is dying down. Y'all, I am convinced you cannot tell me otherwise. These two are the same except the citrus note. Kind of like how Everlasting Magic smelled like sugared cherry pie crust or sugared cherry crisp, except they removed the bakery note. That's how these are. They removed that citrus note and maybe added in a splash of berry. Because I don't get a lot of berry in Goldenberry Mistletoe. It's beautiful, though. It's like woodsy, sprucey, but has that sweetness in the background, which is like this is. Yes, yes. 
Yes, yes. I'm sorry. That is, I'm not going to apologize. That is my thoughts, and that's what I'm sticking by. I do believe they brought back Shimmering Stars, but removed the citrus note because they probably thought it would go over better without that citrus note. And like I said, the citrus note's already died down on my hands, so I don't even get it anymore. So to me, yeah, yeah, absolutely, you guys. So this isn't exactly a 100% repackage, but it's damn close, y'all. It is damn close. It is damn close. Would I recommend this? Yes. If you like scents that are different and you go into it with like an open mind, because if you're a true foodie gourmand lover or you're a floral lover or you only like like fruity scents, you may miss out on so many other scents out there that are freaking fracking fabulous, but you just have to let yourself really envelop into the scent and get to know her a little bit better, and especially different times of the year. Because I'll tell you right now, if I had smelled this in the summer heat, it would not have gone over well with me, I don't think. But in the coolness, because it's gotten a lot colder here in Ohio, this is bang. I like her. Yes, I definitely like this, y'all. But that is my uh, thoughts and review and comparison on Golden Berry Mistletoe. Have you smelled her? What did you think? I want to know. Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And uh, other than that, y'all, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you're alerted every single time your girl uploads. And uh, other than that, y'all, I will catch you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.